Hello everyone and welcome back to Random Honest Reviews. So yesterday I posted this short video about the screencast o -matic. And after posting that, I received a lot of messages from friends asking me what's the difference between that and Screencastify. So as I speak, for you to know, I'm using Screencastify right now. So I'll give you the basics again. Paano at saan nakikita yung Screencastify? All you have to do is type it and then makikita nyo yung site. Click it and then all you have to do is install it. Again, nakalagay dyan, already installed because, again, I'm using it as I speak. Now, lahat ng software and applications, tatandaan nyo, may pros and cons yan. And depende talaga kung para saan nyo siya gagamitin para maka-decide kayo kung ano ba yung best na software na gagamitin nyo for your um, educational videos or instructional videos for your students. So, let's run down the pros of Screencastify first. Una, it's also free, but of course, may limitations. Siyempre, laging okay yung paid version niya. And next, we have this. It has this option to choose. Bago ka mag-record, do you want to share your entire screen to, to your students or just an application window? So, this is a really good pro for this software. Now, meron din tayong option to scribble, draw, or do annotations on the screen. This is actually good, but ang downside is kaya lang niya mag-annotate sa certain tabs or applications. Like dito, sa Chrome tab, kaya niya. Yan, medyo binababoy natin yung screen. But if I try to do it on my PowerPoint presentation, makikita nyo na wala yung drawing tools dun sa baba kasi hindi siya pwedeng ma-annotate ng Screencastify. So basically... Sa Chrome tabs lang siya nagagawa. So, that's really sad. Ayan, makikita nyo ngayon na sumusubok ang kong tumingin ng noise-canceling headsets. Pero, sobrang mahal nila. So, never mind. Anyway, balik tayo. I'm so sorry. Uh, another pro that it has is, it has an editor. Let me show you. After you're done recording your video, you can see this part, I mean this tab, on your Chrome browser. And ayan na, lalabas na dyan yung ginawa niyong video, mag-autoplay siya, and automatically nakamute muna siya, so kailangan mong i-unmute. And then again, since it's just free, all you can do here is trim the beginning and the end of your video. Yung open in editor sa taas, once na-download nyo ito, libre lang siya ng 3 days. So, after 3 days, kailangan nyo mag-upgrade para magamit nyo siya. Now, another cool feature here is, since Chrome ang gumawa nito, you can share to your Google Classroom right away, publish the video on YouTube, and uh, upload it in your drive. Pero, personally, ako, it's best for me that you first save it on your computer. Because like me, I do edit my videos first, using other video tools, video editors, to make it better and interesting. So, sa akin lang naman yun. So, now let's go to the cons. Unang con natin dito, tanggalin muna natin to. Let's go to the Screencastify stuff. Okay. Okay. Unang con niya is, you cannot crop or just show a part of your screen as you record. If you have watched my screencast automatic video, nakita nyo na pwede nyo i-resize yung aspect ratio or part ng screen na pwede nyo ipakita sa students. So, next, hindi rin fixed yung video ng Chrome sa ng Screencastify sa screen. Pagka nakalimutan ko na nagbe-video ako, pwedeng, pwede siyang nakaminimize sa ilalim Hindi ko siya magawa ngayon, but it happened with me one time that I was trying to record the screen. Hindi pala kasala yung video kasi apparently naka-minimize siya somewhere. Natabunan siya nung pinapakita ko sa screen. So next, it is a Chrome extension. So again, if you're not a Chrome user, you don't have access to Screencastify at all. So that's a big uh, big downside for me. And Lastly, may countdown sa baba. It can only give you five minutes of record time. Well, it's advisable if you're using like Edmodo, which can just take in or you can upload 100 MB videos there. But for Google Classroom, it's not, it's not advisable. So it's about to be done. Thank you for watching.